All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to make a quick video today to try to explain Airbus flight control laws in the, the simplest manner that I possibly can. So I am not going to go into extreme detail on this one. This is a subject that I think for anybody that learns the Airbus, it's one of the most confusing things they throw at us early on in our training. And it takes like years to just warm up and, and get used to, or at least like memorize like every single specific detail and types of protections the airplane has on it. So um, it's a hard topic to talk about. Uh, it's an elusive one, <laughs> I think for most people, but uh, I'm going to try to condense it down and just compact it into like a very few small amount of words. And I've got to tell you guys like this, this way of explaining it is not mine. I had a very good instructor uh, recently that, uh, that spelled it out like this. So I'm, I'm basically just using some of his words to recap what he told me. And it, it made so much sense. And even after five years in the airplane, I mean, you know all this stuff is there. Uh, you know what it's doing for you, but it's just, it's still like it, every time you stop and think about it and go back to study it, it's, uh, it takes a little bit of time to, just to, to re recall those details about the, the complexities of the system and what have you. So um, before I start, uh, you know, the Airbus was, was designed with the utmost uh, regard for, um, you know, let's say like trying to keep us as flying people as safe as it possibly could. So that uh, a lot of the design philosophy is, is just based around this fact that the airplane is like supposedly going to like protect us in every conceivable manner from doing something really bad and getting ourselves into a crash. There are sadly though, there's several instances where people have crashed airplanes and, you know, quote unquote normal law, which we'll talk about in a second here. So uh, unfortunately, there are some exceptions to, to some of these these protections that have been designed in the airplane that are supposed to like you know not allow you to like stall the airplane, for example, in normal law. But uh, bad things have happened, and um, you know there's there's a whole a whole not lot more uh, subject matter that could be covered on that one. But I just all that I'm seeking to do is to give you guys, like I said, the the most condensed version of the Airbus flight control laws and protections that we have available to us. So. Uh, I've already talked for a couple minutes. Uh, just let's, let's just get into it. There's there's three very specific and generally, um, uh, let's say, uh, uh, identifiable or, or uh, separatable uh, flight control law um, programs, let's say, that, that uh, we're allowed to operate in. So in the normal law, um, we have things that limit our pitch, our bank, the load factor we can use, the angle of attack, how fast we can go. And like I started to say, theoretically, you, sh you could do anything with the stick. You could put the airplane to any attitude. Supposedly, it's, it's going to allow you to go to a certain point and it's going to limit you know, what you can do uh, with the airplane up to a certain point to, to try to protect you and keep you inside of a normal flight envelope as much as possible. So uh, the way that this instructor described it to me is like in normal law, think about, you know, you're driving a car and you've got metal guardrails. So you might try to bump your car up on the side of the guardrails, but no matter what you try to do, uh, those metal guardrails are strong enough. They're not going to allow you to drive off the side of the road, right? That's, that's the idea of normal law. When we start to lose some protections in the airplane, we drop down to what's called alternate law. So we have uh, this, this sort of like medium grade of protections, let's say, that um, the airplane tries to help us out and, and keep us reminded about when we're about to do something really bad. So it has these, these um, let's, let's say like these uh, nudge points that if you're trying to do something uh, egregious aerodynamically, uh, you know, flight attitude wise, the airplane, it's going to try to fight you on that. It's gonna try to, you know, let's say you're trying to pitch the airplane extremely high. It's gonna try to give you these these cues, these bumps, it's going to try to make uh, some sort of motion to uh, get you to stop doing what you're doing. Um, but these are overridable. So, um, you know, the, the way, once again, this instructor described this one is same car, same road, but you have wooden guardrails on the side of the road. So you, you know, the, the guardrails are there to let you know you're coming up to a, to a boundary. But if you're intent enough or you're, you're doing bad enough things with the airplane, you can drive right through those guardrails get yourself off to the side of the road and uh, make bad things happen in the airplane. Now, the, the final rung below that is the, the, um, the situation where you have just no protections uh, available to us. So we call that direct law. So that's just, uh, as the name implies, 
we can do very direct things to the airplane. There's no no means of, of uh, these cues or protections or the airplane like trying to help us out and, and keep us from doing bad things once again with the airplane. So uh, same road, same airplane, no guardrails in this situation. So that's that's pretty much the <laughs> the two or three minute explanation or uh, or details I can give you on the, the flight control laws in the Airbus. Uh, once I heard that. Uh, I always remembered it, kind of stuck with me. Uh, so anyways, I hope that makes sense to you guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk soon.